Alright uh, guys, it's your boy Jacob Walcott here. I got the catcher K3 electric pressure washer. Yeah, I know. You guys wasn't expecting this. Most people know that Jacob used a Generac 2800 PSI gas pressure washer. But you guys, I had to mix things up. So, I live in Trinidad and Tobago, which is the Caribbean. One of the businesses that I do is power washing. I do many things. Most of you all watch my reviews on landscaping where I review the Mori and also the power stroke brush cutter from Price Mart. Now I'm adding to that list the K3. Reason for getting this machine? I also do power washing of mats, rugs and carpet and to tote around a big power washer to do a smaller rug at times it becomes annoying so I wanted something that's more easy to move around. And you guys I was on a job site, cash on out in the general and I said, let me plug in this and use it and I never put back on the general you know. I must put it back on once, but this machine, basically it has been working 8 hours a day, sometimes 6 hours a day, this machine was constantly being used and short intervals it stopped it rested but most times it was working for at least 6 hours a day and this did a 30 hour work week last week and I do recommend this machine I was power washing walls, burglar proof, concrete, um, decking and this K3 it's unbelievable you guys know I make reviews all the time so y'all know I'm not exaggerating this nozzle here is the turbo nozzle this nozzle actually takes out the concrete First, it's powerful. This is like the red blaster on my general or any other power washer, the nozzle that they tell you stay away from. How this nozzle works, it moves circular. So it's not pointing just in one spot. It has a circular nozzle and that's what gets out all the grime. This is the regular nozzle that dispenses the soap and also regular cleaning. So example, right on the box here. So the turbo in circle to get out the grime and the regular one is what you'll get off your dust your motor for your vehicle i have also power wash my motorcycle twice i clean the motorcycle twice get off mud and those type of things off of the machinery then spray it with the the detergent because there's also a detergent tank attached to the pressure washer so quick run through on off switch here quick release to detach your holes the pressure holes still got the safety guard on it put it back after using the equipment so you push it in snap down turn to the back now this is your detergent tank you fill it in with detergent push it back in water holes there's actually a quick release so you press down and you pull out most people will say that the water holes leaks from the back you guys come to the dad now we have some called thread seal they wrap this around your gardening holes this eliminates the leak from your from your holes push it in press it back in your gun over here quick release you pull down when you pull down you slide it in then you push back up and you connect the holes to the two -way. works with regular 110 there's no ground in this one as you guys could see the reason why I didn't attach the top piece to the pressure washer is because I want it to be easily maneuverable, not four feet tall. I want it to remain a little about two feet and a half. You can see that is. So if I want to throw this in a backpack and put it in my back and go, I throw it in my backpack and go. This pressure washer could actually be lifted with one hand. So that's why I didn't add on the top part. So as I said, you guys, this is a powerful little machine. I do recommend it. I have been testing all types of equipment because some of the work I do is power washing, electrical welding and lawn maintenance. So most times you will see pressure washers, lawn mowers, welding plants on my YouTube channel. For those who like doing things around the house or you guys are in Trinidad and Tobago, you shop at Price Mart. Most times I review many of the products right in Price Mart like the hammer drill, the angle grinder and most of these products could actually be found on my YouTube channel. 
So as I as I said, you guys don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Jacob Walker from Trinidad and Tobago.